Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I wanted to just um, show you, uh, brothers and sisters, this um, a uh, Foo Fighters concert held, all right, in Los Angeles yesterday was only held. All right, for these kind of people, as you can see there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this because uh, we know with the, uh, you know, the ban on the mask and, you know, um, now people are allowed to wiggle around and, you know, be able to live life as they once did, uh, uh, lived it before. We know that there's something up. The elite's sleeve but what's coming from this all is going to be division okay which is a big part of uh, prophecy civil unrest and division okay will come from this because what I'll show you as well is um which it shows it in that video as well but um, outside of the uh, concert there were protest all right people saying that uh, this is segregation and uh, ultimately against it, all right? So um, look for a hot summer. There's going to be a lot of tension, a lot of friction, and the elite know exactly what they're doing, all right? Whereas you have the the uh, government saying we're not going to force anyone to uh, take anything, all right? Well, particular um, groups, okay, uh, particular jobs, okay, they will, okay, and... Um, you know, ultimately, the uh, government is going to start to uphold their request and use that as a means to say, OK, well, you know, this is what we're doing. This is the way. All right. Um, and that's going to lead to more hell, more friction, more civil unrest, like I said. But I'm going to go ahead and play this. This ain't going to be long. I just wanted to show you all this. Well, I can tell you, Alex, Christine, we have been enjoying the music from out here. It is a small venue. In fact, Mike, if you can zoom in, you can actually watch them perform from out here. And uh, they've been playing for about an hour now here at the Canyon Club. It is a small venue. The tickets were only $26 because they are celebrating their 26th anniversary. Obviously, an awesome way to welcome back SoCal. Yes, times like these we learn to live again. Through. Heartfelt lyrics <laughs> that are perfect for a return to the life we used to know. We're maskless. Smiles are out. <laughs> faces are out. This is a beautiful day. He is ready to have a ball, man. You know. <laughs> Jake, too. Everybody's just, you know, ready. You know. But, but, but people have been locked up in their houses, scared. You know, now, you know, uh, uh, you know, here in Texas, they've allowed people, you know, they've passed a, a law to where people can just walk around toting guns. All right. Now, with all of this anger pent up and all of these divisions, man, they, they know what this is going to lead to. Well, let's just keep watching. <laughs> fans are here at the Canyon Club in Agora Hills for their favorite band. The Foo Fighters kicking off their tour in this small venue for their California fans. Both good to be out here with our Foo family and ready for the show. How exciting is this for you? We've been without concerts, without a lot of things for more than a year. It's it's so exciting. You know, I'm a concert addict. You know, so just having everything shut down, no shows, no anything. You know? And these people are in for a rude awakening. All right, that's why this place is called the wealthy nation where people dwell without care. All right, let's get that real quick. Give me one second. Just type in without care. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah 49 and 31. Arise, get you up to the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care. Saith the Lord, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. And Babylon is being isolated. Okay. And this is that wealthy nation. Okay. And, and the people were used to living a particular lifestyle and some of those things were taken away. All right. So now they seem to be happy thinking things are going to return to normal. But we know that the elite have something up their sleeve with this all, all right? Everything is calculated, all right? And, 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 and this is all happening at a time where they're 
passing laws. I don't know where else they're passing this, but here in Texas, you can just walk around without uh, any training or any registration and just have a gun on you. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen. They have to show proof of vaccination. It's, it feels so great to be without a mask. Everybody's vaccinated. The Foo Fighters are opening up California. I'm not over it. I brought my mask just because I'm used to it. But you know what? Tonight during the show, it's going to go up in the air. But not everyone is happy the Foo Fighters are holding a concert for only vaccinated fans. To hold there you go. It's always Eve. Eve is always in a, in, in a in a in a place where it's like, why are you there? Now, who in the hell are the Foo Fighters? <laughs> let's 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 look up who the Foo Fighters are. I, I, I'm I'm curious to see what type of music they play. And why in the hell is Eve there? <laughs> let's see, who are the Foo Fighters? Okay. No. But there she is. Segregation. Our country fought so hard to make sure that people could uh, be in places together and to just, you know, limit a uh, concert venue to one group of people is uh, horrendous. These concert goers, however, times like these, you learn to love again. Ignored the demonstrators and carried on with the music of the Foo Fighters. There goes <laughs> my hero, watch him as he goes. <laughs> And back here live, you can see this concert is still going strong. The Foo Fighters really jamming out here in Agora Hills. And you can see a crowd of fans that couldn't get the tickets, but they are still enjoying it as we are. The Foo Fighters will now be headed to New York after this concert, where they will be playing at Madison Square Garden. Now, that, that's a huge venue. Here, just 600 fans. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play this. We are at the Canyon Club, where you can only go see the Foo Fighters if you have been vaccinated and show proof of vaccination. These people fail to understand that this is segregation and segregation is discrimination. So we are here, we are demonstrating the event. We're vaccinated only, unvaccinated, not allowed. No segregation, 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 You see it for yourself. All right. Let's read this one scripture. All right. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. All right. Now we use the scripture to let you know E will be against E. All right. But pretty much Babylon is this modern day Egypt. Okay. That we're going to be delivered out of. And the people are divided in many ways, man. Okay. Which, you know, how can a nation uh, uh, go forward if it's divided in the way that this one is? OK, Isaiah 19 and, 9, and 2 says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians 
and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, right? City against city and kingdom against, uh, you know, kingdom. And uh, that's happening, all right? Uh, you know, small skirmishes here and there. You got a lot happening all over the world. You know, these stories, brothers are bringing them out. But it's only going to increase with uh, with the elite. And they know exactly why what they're doing. Okay, the, the elite know what they're doing. They know what's going to come of this all as they're bringing in that uh, NWO. All right. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And that's what's happening. This place is done. Okay. And I will destroy the council thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and the charmers and to them that have uh, familiar spirits and wizards, man. Because it ain't going to work. All right. This is the council of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And he's using the elite. All right, to uh, collapse this place, man. All right, and to set up all of these divisions where they think they're going to, you know, uh, benefit. But actually, you're on your way out, E. So I just wanted to bring that out. I thought it was funny. Hopefully, I edified on to the next one. Shalom.